Howdy everybody in YouTube land. This video is about a brief overlook of the Macintosh monitor M1296 12 inch display. The reason why I like these, as, as you no doubt can tell, that they match the Macintosh LC perfect. My, my philosophy on this is most people I see videos and you know forum posts and stuff like that. Most people always collect the machines themselves, which there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is most of the time people collect them and to use them or play with them or whatever, they always use an LCD and some LCDs are not compatible with the scan rate of those machines and on and on and on the numbers go. But for me personally, my honest opinion, I always want to keep the monitor that matches the machine because the monitor, just for aesthetics reasons, because it, it just it, it sits perfectly on there. And for a CRT, this guy is not heavy at all, and it's not very it's not very big either. I mean, it's it's pretty tiny. But the video itself is not about me using the monitors. This video is about the common issues that you might see with an old monitor like this because the one thing that you don't normally see in, in YouTube videos is what these things are doing when there's problems and the actual repairs. The repair portion of this video will be um, excluded until the next video when I get time to actually pull this apart and actually see what's going on. But as you can tell, possibly, this thing has some severe burn-in and, and that's a shame too it is it's a really it's a real shame but that means it's a very high hours monitor meaning it's probably used in a school environment and this thing was on practically 18 hours a day sometimes all all day long you know and all night long you just never know but regardless uh, this video is about this common issue that we're going to show you right here. As soon as she warms up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Problem, actually this monitor has three problems. Problem number one is the, the cable has got a break in the green connection to the display. So we'll ignore that for a second. So that means I gotta cut, cause this, this wire, it, it's, this thing is hardwired into the back of the machine. So I have to cut it and replace it with a new one. So that is gonna be fun in itself. But the other issue is, is this right here, okay? This is a condition known as vertical fold over. Most people are not aware of how to fix these displays and that's what this video is gonna be about. Well, the next video, this video is just an overlook. But the video, the series is gonna be about how to fix these monitors and how to know what to look for, okay? Um, there are, this, this picture to you might look like a jumbled mess, but to me, it tells me a lot of things. For one, and a monitor you have what's called the vertical and horizontal deflection circuits. And cheap monitors like these, the horizontal deflection circuitry and the high voltage output circuitry is an all one circuit. And they're tuned for each, they're tuned against each other along with the yoke, which is why fixed frequency monitors don't work well with higher resolutions because well, the yoke and everything's all tuned to a specific frequency, but that's not the point. The point is, there's also the vertical circuitry. So what this picture is actually telling me is the horizontal circuitry is actually fairly good, okay? But there's two parts to a vertical circuit. You have the vertical output stage, which drives the yoke, and you have the vertical sync oscillator processor stage, okay? The problem I'm going to tell you right now is in the sync processor. And how do I know this? Well, I'll show you. For one thing, the vertical foldover is down here, okay? Most cases, if the problem was in the output circuit, the foldover would be at the top or at the bottom, okay? It's in the middle here. Well, not quite the middle, but close enough. So this is a problem with the sync processor. And another thing that gives it away 
is you see the the roster edges here and here this is the pin cushion okay notice the pin cushion out is out evenly on both sides okay well normally in a TV set or in various monitors too this is indicative of bad filter capacitors in the primary input stage okay and you can see things are changing as it's warming up and, and this means this means uh, a further point is, is is probably capacitor related okay but the 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 pin cushion problems are not moving up with the screen image if they're actually staying still which tells me that the pin cushion or this hum bar is what we call them this hum bar is in sync with the vertical frequency okay which also means that this artifact is actually being caused by the vertical deflection processor so basically what we have here is a failure of the capacitors in the vertical to deflection processor not the output stage it could be the output stage but very rarely very rarely the way this thing is acting or the fold over is it's it's not the vertical output stage. This is going to be in the sync processor and basically what this is is it takes the sync pulse from the machine and with a phase lock loop it actually locks it with the vertical ramp oscillator that's built into the monitor because you have a, a, a vertical, it's kind of a little bit of arched a vertical ramp and it's 60 times a second or 57 times a second depending on what it's set at electronically in the the monitor driver software but um yeah so this 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 failure is definitely definitely the vertical sync oscillator circuit so this video pretty much explains what to look for when you see a picture and i don't, I don't have any other bad monitors to to elaborate but this is the only one that i have that's screwed up and if you see one with this kind of problem now you'll know what to look for and how to do it. So most likely it is going to be capacitor related, as with anything at this age. But now we have the results of what bad capacitors look like in the monitor. So without further ado, thank you for watching. If you feel free to leave a comment, please leave one. Otherwise, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.